And now, Cap gave you first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Kristen Walls. 644, welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. And not only is it Friday the 13th, but we have the full harvest moon, which will be occurring tonight. So it is kind of out in full force this morning, but the sun is starting to rise. We will have that full moon uh, that's going to be later on tonight. So that moonrise taking place just after about 7 o'clock, right around 930. That is when the moon is going to be the fullest in the sky. Now, fun fact, it's going to be apogee. So the moon is the furthest away from the Earth. Perigee is when it's typically the closest. And the next time that we're we are going to see this here is not going to be until 2049. So August 2049, 30 years away. This doesn't occur too often that we see that full moon on Friday the 13th. So if you can, we will have a few clouds here or there scattered about across the sky later on tonight. So hopefully we'll get some clearing going on uh, to see that full moon out in full force. So let's get you to current temperatures and where we sit at right now. Uh, not too bad. 55 degrees in Yakima with 62 in Toppenish, 67 currently in the Tri-Cities and 66 for Walla Walla. So wind speeds, I think that'll be the biggest issue today as a frontal system makes its way through. Temperatures are the winds speeds right now not too bad between 5 to 15 but I do think as we head throughout later on this afternoon um, that is when those winds could really start to pick up. We're looking at 20 maybe at times up to 25 miles per hour as we take you throughout your afternoon. No rainfall is expected with this front. Most of our wet weather will be further up toward north if your travels take you up towards Spokane. We're mainly looking at some cloud cover to begin your morning. So as you're waking up getting ready to hit the road this morning that is the one noticeable difference that you will see out the door. So there's that frontal system them. The reason our winds will pick up, the cloud cover that we'll have out there for today, and also some cooler temperatures this afternoon. Upper 70s, low 80s. We'll have our mainly dry day. So this will kind of be our pick of the weekend before another system brings some wet weather in here. On Sunday, we will have some scattered rain showers developing mainly for the second part of the day. And it does look like this upper level low will continue to give us the chance for some scattered rain showers and temperatures, at least in early next week, only in the upper 60s and low 70s. Travel forecast really not that great. As well, a few rain showers Friday and Saturday uh, in Seattle. Best chance for some wet weather will be on Sunday. Much cooler there, the uh, high is 63. Also, dodging some rain showers out there in Portland for today, but those higher rain chances on Sunday. And we will have, of course, those uh, the wet weather up towards Spokane this morning, looking a little bit better this afternoon. And then next best chance for some wet weather will be on Sunday, with that high 67. So here's today's forecast with 74 in Ellensburg and 78 in Yakima, up to 83 in the Tri Cities with a high of 81 in Prosser and those low 80s as well for Walla Walla. So we'll have that partly cloudy sky, breezy night still as numbers fall through the 50s and low 60s. Seven day forecast, Tri Cities again, the pick of the weekend will be on Saturday before the wet weather rolls in here on Sunday. And that will lead to temperatures about 10 degrees cooler than average. Low 70s there Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then even in Yakima, we'll have that dry day Saturday. And then prepared, be prepared for the wet weather on Sunday at 71, upper 60s by Monday.